Um, this year we had the benefit of not only having a pool of athletes that we reached out to kind of in season, pre-season that did some distance testing for us that were in the age group categories, uh, but when we were on site at Rogue we had some uh, prominent age groupers that were helping us out, so that was pretty cool. And to my knowledge, the first time that we've done it to that extent, so pretty cool to have that input. As we started to get more and more sketched in with what the individuals were going to do, um, that really started to inform the possibilities that we could use for the age groups as well. And it was a lot of fun to, you know, not replicate events exactly, but, you know, it's fun to try to get the same flavor for the age group athletes in so far as if you show up to the CrossFit Games, you should be getting an experience that you can't get anywhere else. That's, they're going to be unique events, you're going to see some things that you wouldn't be able to do in your normal training, um, and you're going to get exposed to some elements that um, are, are unique. So we wanted that to be true for all divisions. It actually, it actually was fun. Okay. Because it's going to be a separator. It's going to be a good separator yep. for those who can, you know, hold something like this. Yep. You know, because you got to keep agility, accuracy, balance, coordination. Exactly. You got to keep those in there somehow. Yep. You take away the yep. handstand walk, stuff like that. Something yep. like this, I think, is genius. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think that if we have some of those unique elements present for the age groupers and the other divisions, it really does kind of bring things back to the core ethos of CrossFit, which is you're going to take on new challenges, you're going to try new things. And that doesn't go away just because you've reached a certain age. You know, you're like, okay, well, you're 40 now, no more challenge for you. It doesn't work that way. That's not what we're about as a community. So it is important that you have a 60-year-old athlete come to the games and be confronted with something that's a little bit different than what they may have trained for for the past five years. That's exactly what it's all about. So hopefully, what that trickles down to for everybody is the message that it's worth trying new things, it's worth pursuing things that are a little bit different than what you've done in the past. And not to fear that process, because it really is at the heart of what we do. Try to take the value of these big building block elements from you know the best in strength and conditioning and use that to drive yourself forward, not to get stuck on these one or two pet expressions of it. That was awesome. Flawless. So he's the man. Do we keep that for all age divisions or do the youngers do dips? Because I'm about to have Bailey do it. Walk across seven, walk across seven, walk across seven. Get that out of here. If I do that, man. A little motivation it. right here. Put me on my back after the round of 21. A little Game machine over. motivation yeah. right there, son. Come gonna, on. Not going to see that on this one. <laughs> Starting in three, two, one, go. Yeah, the challenge with the age group athletes is getting the right variations for the right divisions. And it's a moving target because as we continue to see the evolution of not only the games, but you know the participation in some of these age group categories that didn't exist a few years ago, uh, they're basically developing in front of you. And so what was appropriate a couple years ago becomes maybe too light or not appropriate now. So it is a bit of a moving target and you know we try to use the best information that we have from the most current round of competition to inform what's happening next. But it's not always going to be flawless. Great workout though. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Right on where I want the time to be. You know what I mean? cool. The test itself doesn't have to be so challenging on paper that that is what sets it apart. What the athletes bring to it and the way that they can move through it, that's what dictates the test. And again, I go back to this old analogy over and over and over again, but I think it really holds true. You know, if you have a 100 meter dash, it's like the most popular race ever. It's the most popular event in the Olympics. It's been around and part of human history since people have been competitive with each other. I mean, it's, it's a foot race from here to there. It's never a question of can these athletes make the distance? That's not the, the challenge. The challenge is how fast can I personally do it and what does that look like against all these other people that are trying to do the same thing. Somebody suggested that we probably needed to raise one side to make it harder and I was like, oh, I don't think so. I don't think we need to do that. I love the walk for the masters because it's going to keep them moving. I think, I think I like the dips that. will slow it down too much. Yeah, I agree. I like that better. 
Okay. I do think that CrossFit, like it is for everybody, should be seen as a platform. And that platform is, okay, I'm fit enough to do anything else that I want. And for the average person, you know, you go to the affiliate, you get fit enough that, hey, I can go out and take a hike on the weekend with some friends on a terrain that I've never experienced before uh, on an unknown distance. And I know I'm gonna be fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, my friends call me up, they wanna go surfing. Great, I can just say yes, I can go try it out. It doesn't have to be something that I'm concerned about my physicality. It's a platform, man, it's a platform. It's a jumping off point. I'm like, dude, I got this wide base. Where do I wanna go? I can go anywhere. Let's go. You wanna go right now? I'll go. Might not beat you, but I'll go. <laughs> Again, as, as I see it, one of the most important aspects of CrossFit as a methodology and a way of thinking about training is that there is this sense of exploration. There is, there is some degree, it's like play, that you want to bring into your training. And maybe that's not going to happen in competition as often, but that's a big part of it. You know, learn to play new sports and explore these things. Get out of the routine that you're you're based around so often. And so hopefully for the average person, that is one more way that we can signal to them that like, yeah, you should be part of that exploration in the gym. This should give you a sense of play at certain times. And um, I think it's really healthy and it's gonna keep you in the game a little bit longer.